Welcome back to John's Films. Do you have any of that footage that just makes you cringe? It's the terrible, awful previous work you've done that you thought was genius. Well, I have a lot of it because I suck at color grading. So today, we're going to figure out what it takes for me to go back and one, face my fear of looking at the terrible stuff, and two, see what I could have done differently to fix it. Come along with me as we cringe. Drone footage from beautiful Colorado. Ah! Oh, it gets worse every time I see it. All right, let's go back to the scene of the crime. On the left, I have the raw footage coming out of the DJI drone. On the right, I have the atrocious abomination of, man, terribleness. The problems that I see with this, one, it didn't fit in with the rest of the timeline, but two, it's got this overly green blow-up terribleness, and then clearly it's blown out throughout the snow, especially compared to the previous shot. And you can see I exposed it so that I got that detail. So <laughs> there's no reason this should have come out in the final. Clearly, my eyes had gone colorblind. To fix this now, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take a snip of this and put it into the color timeline. So that was an I and then an O for an in and out point. I'm going to grab uh, here, pull it down. So now we can see a real transition from one to the other. Oof. All right. So to color this, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to look at it again as if it were just a fresh clip. So we'll start with that, and then we'll do something else. So the first thing that I'm going to do is look at this and say, okay, obviously shot it in a flat profile, try and preserve some of the shadows. And so I'm going to pull up my scopes, and you can see it's kind of flat and compressed. I'll pull the tops up a touch. I'll pull the bottoms down. Notice I'm in the primaries, which means the overlap and affecting the different zones a little bit more. So now I've got a little bit more contrast in there. It still looks a little washed out, so I'll drop a little saturation on it. This was part of my problem. I went insane on that earlier, I think. There we go. All right, and now I'm able to see, kind of spread out a bit more. Um, I can still see the detail in here. Probably fits in a little bit better with the rest of this timeline, but it still looks a little dingy. It's not fantastic. One of the things that I've done in the past for that, well, it does. So I kind of have my base grade, kind of the color correction space. Um, I could check my white balance, which probably wouldn't be a bad idea. So we'll do that on, should do that on the first node, to be honest. Pull it back here. Okay. So on the white balance, I'm going to grab the white balance that I would assume that I could call the snow white for all intents and purposes. That helped. It took some of that blue-green blowout um, out of there. And now I've got my contrast, which I've added here with a little touch of saturation. And now here, we're going to look at what we can do to make it less dingy. One thing I can do is start looking into uh, just kind of the mids and bringing them up a touch. Just a little bit more steep, more dramatic curve there. Seems to do quite a bit. And now I think that probably fits better in the timeline. Now, nope. see, so the rocks are going to be, compared to what we've got over here, the rocks are quite a bit more pinkish. So I'm going to want to pull a little bit of pink out of those rocks. Those rocks are probably in the midtones. I'll just pop it this way here on my midtone color wheel with the gamma. Down a touch. And now we've got... Oof, that is brutal. Yeah, so here now we're avoiding the yellow rocks that I had in, in the uh, bad footage, but we're still a little pink compared to the rocks that we've got here. Now, of course, a pretty simple solution we could have had here would have been to say, hmm, let's take this grade, whatever was on this, and put it on this, because it was shot at the same time of day, it was shot at the same place. Let's check that out. So I'm going to do, um, unfortunately, I don't have the original project open at the moment. So instead, I'm going to do a color match. Well, shot match to this clip with the right click on the item that I want to get matched to and shot match it. Now I'm going to say shot match to this clip. And Resolve has taken its neural engine. It has taken a look at the highs, the lows. Really, it looks at the data inside your scopes and then matches it to what it sees. Clearly, it didn't blow out the snow as I had previously. Um, it looks like the rocks are the right tone compared to the rocks that I've got in here. 
I might might say that there's a touch too much contrast in it. So it's a little too deep in the darks over here on the right. So that's easy to fix. I'm just going to pick it up from the curves. It's kind of a one-stop shop fix on that. Oh, man, that's a much more pleasing grade. Uh, maybe some indie filter vignetting up here in the corner that I could try and tackle. But, gosh, um, <laughs> I think I'd be happy. Look at that. Oh. So much better. All right, so we fixed this clip. There's one other thing I did not like about this, and that was that in this original clip, if you look at this, and then you jump to what is obviously the same clip or the same flight pattern from before, the grade's different. <laughs> nice job. Green, 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 and then back to grayish rocks. Same drone, same, same time of day, same flight, same battery on the drone. Shouldn't look this different. Again, I'd probably use shot match here. Or when I'm in the original grading, I would copy paste the grade over and tweak it as necessary for any unique exposure items. But overall, I should be using a much more unified color grading experience here so that everything is the same throughout. I don't want the variation like I had in here. Pretty terrible. Cringe, yeah. But cool that I can come fix it now. Well, thank you for sticking through that extremely painful segment. <laughs> of course, you haven't made any of these errors as well, I'm sure. But if you have, let me know down in the comments. I'm interested in where you've published stuff that you don't feel so great about. You can uh, also like the video if you thought it was a unique thing to do. Maybe you liked that Lexi just shook the tripod. Pretty neat. Otherwise, have a great day, and thanks for watching.